Good morning. I've got a bit of a mammoth journey ahead of me today. Approximately nine hours cruising, non-stop. I've got lots of food on board, lots of water for both me and Molly. Um, lots of essentials, lots of battery packs to charge all my equipment. It's supposed to be a nice day, sun's already coming out. Obviously I've got suntan cream as well. One of my friends, Palm, who's an orthodontist, regularly reminds me that um, I should be wearing lots and lots of suntan cream. So yes, I've got it on board, ready, Palm. Um, I moored up at the Wharf Inn last night, just below Holt Lock on the River Severn. Molly wasn't quite sure about the jetty, mind you. It wasn't long until I passed the Droitwich Barge Canal that links down onto the River Severn. Passing Worcester Racecourse that is located slightly north of the main city of Worcester, there are lots of mooring spots along the bank here. Then once under the large road bridge, the Anglican Worcester Cathedral overlooks the river. Diglis locks are to the south of the city where there are two large locks next to each other. The river quickly spreads out into open and remote countryside for quite a few miles. It turns sharply at Tewkesbury, where an 85-mile stretch of water flows all the way from Northamptonshire, and here the ancient River Avon joins the mighty Severn. Just north of the city of Gloucester, I take the East Channel that dramatically narrows and winds its way down to Gloucester Lock. Now north of the city of Worcester and just there behind me is the first lock and the entrance to the Droitwich Barge Canal. Now that canal goes right the way into the centre of Birmingham and it's quite a busy canal, this sort of circuit is quite busy for hire boaters. just gone through my first lock of the day and I had a chat with the lock keeper there and he gave me some very good news because of the flow of the water today um, because there has been a bit of rain over the last week or so it's not in flood and it's not even in the the amber area but because of the flow of water because I'm traveling downstream instead of my journey taking nine hours it's gonna take exactly half four and a half brilliant news heading down through the city of Worcester. There's lots and lots of mooring spots along the, the river here but some of them do charge so be aware of that. Just up ahead on the left or port side is the Worcester and Birmingham canal. 
Now again, that heads straight into the city of Birmingham. Just up ahead of me is Diglis Lock. Two very large locks south of the city of Worcester. And I'm going up to the locks very slowly and I will be advised which lock to go through by a series of traffic lights operated by Canal and River Trust staff or volunteers. So we shall see. Right, so the left hand lock light is flashing, which is, that's the indication that he wants me to go through that one. He's just preparing the lock at the moment. They're very large, so if it's got any water in, it'll take a bit of time. So I just need to sort of hover out in the channel here. The boat just went past with three fishermen in, just a small boat, but boy did it have a lot of high tech on board. There were multiple screens, there were rods with big black dome-like things on the end. Now I'd say they're fishing. Um, let me know in the comments below if you know what the, the dome-like things were. Could they be sonar to track where fish are? I'm not really sure. They were definitely out for a really good day's fishing, that's for sure. Just come around the corner and there's a very large barge that's dealing with the, the sand from the quarry here. I am not going to mess with him. So as we go down in the lock here, that was a bit embarrassing. I was the last boat in, and because I'm on my own, I simply cannot get the boat up against the wall. I've put my rope around, um, there's like a wire that's down the side of the lock. But um, it's quite difficult on your own with the pressure of the boat and all the other boats moving around in the lock. It's a big lock this as well. Anyway, we're going down. Just here is Upper Parting. 
Now, as you travel south down towards Gloucester Lock, you're to contact the lock keeper there when you're at this point, either on VHF channel 74 or by phone number. Now, I am still with a fl flotilla of three other boats and I know one of those will be contacting the lock ahead, so I don't need to. And we're all going to travel down the, the narrower part of the River Severn down towards the lock. just held back a little bit here and holding on to this chain because just right in front of the lock which isn't ready yet for us that's why we've all got to wait but just in front of the lock there is all the water goes down to the right to a weir and I don't want to go down that far because you could be pulled down there so I'm staying well back Just in front of the lock, all of the water goes towards the right and goes down quite a strong weir. Now the grey boat up ahead went down and possibly got into a little bit of difficulty because someone from another boat had to moor up and run down the bank and help them bring their boat up against the side. Now weirdly, I am just over tick over here and it sort of seems to keep the boat stationary and although my stern is up against the the wall the bow just keeps swinging out every so often but the light is flashing red which indicates that it's probably draining and the gates will open and we'll all be able to go in soon but there's no one behind me and it's just us four i can see why we're waiting a rather large craft has come down the lock and is coming back out onto the, the River Severn. So the three narrow boats ahead of me have all gone next to each other and I'm over onto one side because a wide beam is now coming in as well. So we'll have a wide beam and four narrow boats in this one lock. So we've got four narrow boats and a wide beam in this lock. And the big thing for me is to not let the stern hit this bridge because it's a road bridge. But we'll see. Right, so all of the boats are turning left into the quay here and I'm the only one that's going straight on underneath this lift bridge that's got to lift for me. Right, he's lifted the bridge already for me so I put a bit of power on so I don't disrupt too many people and I'm straight through the quay and out onto the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal. Hurrah! I'll stay on this canal for a number of weeks as my dad is coming aboard to help me with the inside of Alice. And yes, I will be showing the progress. Until next time, see you later.